guys, today I'm going to show you how I use alcohol inks using some really easy techniques. So you're going to need some Yupu paper. I will leave some links in the description below where you can buy everything I'm using today. The paper I'm using is 5 by 7 inches. I'm also wearing some rubber gloves because you don't want to get the alcohol inks on your fingers at all. So just make sure they're covered and I've put down some newspaper and underneath the newspaper I've put a plastic box lid so that if any of the inks run through the paper it won't stain the surface below. So the inks I'm using today are called Adirondack by Tim Holtz and I've actually got quite a few of these, I think they're really good quality. I'm going to be using isopropyl alcohol too. You're going to want at least 90 to 100% quality and a little hint to everyone in the UK this is the same thing as a rubbing alcohol which is what the Americans call it. I'm going to use a straw and just some toilet paper to mop up any excess ink. The technique I'm going to show you today is just a really easy simple method, nothing too complicated just if you're a beginner at using inks and you just want to see how to use the ink and how to manipulate it in a couple of different ways and see how it works with the paper. So I'm just doing a couple of dots on the paper and blowing them in different directions. The paper is completely waterproof so you can put as many layers of ink onto the paper and it won't go through at all. So I'm just speeding up the video here so you can see the process that I'm doing quite quickly and I'm just spreading out throughout the page uh, so that has good coverage. So I'm going to go in with a different ink, a yellowy kind of colour and I'm going to blow it to the edges which don't have ink on. Um, and I think it's quite nice seeing the ink run down the page and merge into the other colours. So each piece is unique, don't worry about getting it perfect at all, it's all about experimentation. So just continue filling the page up with ink. I'm also going in with a green colour. At this point feel free to use as many different colours as you want, just keep laying it up. Uh, but I'm just going to stick to these three colours. So when you finish your page you may want to go in with a piece of tissue paper and just dab off any excess ink that's on the page. So I'm going to use some of the isopropyl alcohol to blend some of the inks together. I'm going to put my straw inside and just dab the straw on the page very lightly and it will start to blend the colours outwards. So I quite like giving the ink some time to bleed just to see where it goes on the page and then if I like to blend it out a bit more I just use the straw again. So as you can see there is a build up of ink on the outside of the circle, this is just because the alcohol spreads it to the edge, it doesn't remove it. So just use some tissue paper to remove the excess. So I've just dipped my straw into the alcohol and I'm dabbing it on random sections on the page just to create some nice circles here and there. Again this is all up to you, it's all trial and error, so give a couple of things a go see how you get on. It's quite nice to use different textures, you can use brushes along the page, you can use bristles, just to see the different kind of patterns you get. So the next bit I've done here, I've just put some silver alcohol ink into this clear 
bottle and I've added a couple of drops of the isopropyl alcohol and I'm just dipping my straw in and I'm going to dab it in small sharp motions and kind of spray it across the page. I think this creates a really nice pattern. So at this point I've just been experimenting, adding a couple more drops of ink and a couple more sprays of the alcohol until I'm happy with the page. I hope you guys have had fun, it's all about fun, it's all about experimentation. If you like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do some more tutorials. And thank you for watching, take care.